Well, hello, lovely voice teacher. Welcome to this special episode. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that you decided to click on this one. Today, we are diving into how to navigate big changes in your business. And this seems to be a big topic because y'all voted for this on Instagram. It has been talked about amongst many of my clients and definitely something that I have experienced recently myself. (laughs) So much so that I actually shared the process that I went through to help myself when my anxiety got really bad. So just like you, I have fears, I have anxieties, and I deal with all kinds of mental jargon (laughs) all the time. So what I did was I specifically shared this mental framework inside of my brand new offer called the T. So little backstory about the T. The T is a Q&A broadcast and it is where voice teachers can submit questions about business and marketing completely anonymously and they will get them answered on the broadcast in the form of a voice text from me. So most messages will range anywhere from, I don't know, like two to five minutes and then I'll pop in there probably two to three times a week. I'll answer a couple of questions each time and I share a behind the scenes look at what I am myself doing to grow and scale my own voice teaching business, which is something I'm really focusing on right now and definitely in 2024. (laughs) I'm so excited. It's been so much fun. I love this broadcast. I have loved being able to support teachers in this way, and it is the most affordable way to get ongoing support in your business without depending on a scheduled one-on-one call. So, A few weeks ago, a voice teacher inside of the T had asked anonymously, I don't know even who this person was, they asked how to navigate big changes within their business. And since this was such a relevant topic, it also happened to be a theme that was on one of the October Voicepreneur group calls, and it happened to be something that I was experiencing myself, I knew that I had to really go into depth in this, and I actually created a voice text that was around 13-ish minutes long. That's by far the longest one I had ever put in the broadcast, and it was the most well-received. So I figured I needed to bring it onto the podcast. So this episode is the voice text that I sent to the members inside of the tea last month. I share a vulnerable look at my own mental process on how I navigated my anxiety after raising my prices, making big changes in all of my offers and services as both a voice teacher, right? Teaching voice lessons and as a business coach. It was like major, major, major changes all around in October. And I definitely had some anxiety about it. So this is an actual step-by-step process that helped me through it. I use it all the time because let's be real, if you are dedicated to growing, you are always going to be navigating big changes in some way, shape, or form. So you're always going to want to have some sort of process to come back to. And sometimes those changes feel bigger than others, but either way, our mind loves to play mental games with us. I know that that's why you clicked on this episode. (laughs) So in this voice text, I give you a concrete mental framework that you can absolutely write down. Save this episode so that you can jot down these steps and have them for yourself. I promise you this is going to help so much when it comes to being a true boss in your business. It really, really is so powerful. Here's what someone inside of the T said after hearing this particular voice text. I really enjoyed listening to how you navigated your anxiety about pricing and offers. I had a similar situation recently. I had a lot of long-term students give their notice in one week, and I also recently raised my prices. I chose to look at this as a blessing and see it as they are making room for my ideal clients who will be happy to pay my current pricing. It's a bit scary, but deep down, I know that I eventually will make up the income with my digital products in the making, and I love what you said about that. That's so reassuring, and it helps relieve pressure and stress. Thank you, Allie. Ah, So that is really the goal of this episode. It is to help you relieve pressure and stress so that you can continue embodying that high level boss energy that we've been talking a lot about. 
And if you want to join us inside of the tea, you can literally ask as many questions as you want. I try to answer most of them. <laughs> and you can hear answers to other people's questions as well, which is super cool, as well as my personal behind the scenes look at what I'm doing to grow my own private teaching business for as low as $20 a month. Yeah, baby. 20 bucks a month. I really want to support you as best as I can in the most accessible way. So go and check out the link inside of the show notes. And I truly hope to see you there. And most importantly, I can't wait to hear how this episode resonates with you. So if it resonates with you, which I truly hope it does, take a screenshot of the episode, share it on your Instagram stories and tag me at the voicepreneur. And in return, I will send you a special surprise in your DMs. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Okay, my love, I hope that you enjoy this episode. This podcast is for voice teachers and coaches to answer the question, how do I grow my teaching business and even break out of that one-on-one -on -one lesson model so that I can reach and teach who I want whenever I want? I'm your host, Allie Tyler, voice teacher of over a decade and marketing and business coach for fellow voice teachers. Welcome to the Voicepreneur Podcast. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. I meant to get in here a little bit earlier this week, but I actually wanted to wait until there were a couple more people that I knew were going to be joining soon. So hello. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. I have so many things to share. So I'm going to start off with something that has been really very, very prominent in my life. And since this is the tea, I want to be transparent about the things that are happening personally, professionally. And one of the things that was such an interesting lesson for me in my own business, <laughs> um, I love walking the talk with y'all. Walking the talk with y'all? What does that, that didn't even make sense. I love walking the talk. I love being in it with y'all. I love experiencing the fears, the frustrations, the struggles, the obstacles of doing this freaking thing because it is so much. It's a lot. And one of my big up levels was kind of creating a different container for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And this was, of course, one-on-one -on -one coaching here, one-on-one -on -one coaching for voice teachers, but also one-on-one -on -one coach, one -on -one coaching for voice students and what that container looks like, as I have shared in previous voice texts about kind of the group setting and kind of ideas that I have for that. So I have been feeling into big changes and I'm so excited about them. And it was really interesting because one of the topics that came up in the voicepreneur call from last week was about how to navigate big changes like price increases and different containers. And what do you do when you just make a really big change? You're making a big leap. So I wanted to walk you through what I went through when I made this big change, because this is something I feel that a lot of us are experiencing right now, whether it could, you know, it could be something like a price increase, the way that you are accepting payment, maybe you are launching a program, maybe you have a program, maybe you are kind of re refining it, remodeling it, maybe you have, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios, right, where we can be up leveling. So here are a couple of things that I did this week. Actually, you know what? It was really more last week. Last week, I was feeling a lot of anxiety. <laughs> this week, it was so much better. But last week, it was really intense, meaning I was up at like 4 a.m. going, oh my God, what did I just do? I just made a huge change. Like, I just shot myself in the foot. This was a terrible idea. Nobody is going to sign up. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be poor. This was awful. You know, all of those very normal thoughts that I'm sure that you have felt as well when you make big changes. And I'm witnessing myself experience this, right? Like the anxiety in my body and the racing thoughts. And I'm watching this all go down at 4 a.m. going, oop, there, there she goes again. Anxious Allie. I know her very well. I do. I know her very well. And I'm so proud of myself. Like, seriously, I am so freaking proud of myself in the way that I navigated that because I feel even two year ago, Allie, one year ago, Allie, I'm not sure <laughs> that she would have navigated it quite how I did this time around. And it was really a beautiful thing to witness in myself. So 
I experienced anxiety around this big change of creating different types of offers and prices and if this price is right and all of those things. And so first I did this. I asked myself, if I don't get any new clients, I don't get any new students because of this, because of these price increases, am I going to be okay? Am I going to be okay? So that's, that's the first step is asking yourself, am I going to be okay? Like, am I grounded? Am I financially secure enough that I am not depending on this? Now, if you are, go and check out the latest episode I have on the podcast, or we can talk about it one-on-one because that is a separate conversation. But that's really the big thing is not fully depending on, especially making really big changes. Like if you are, let's say, like I know one person in this group, she is launching a brand new program, which is going to be so freaking good. And I asked her when she was launching this, okay, is this something that you are completely depending on financially? And she said, no, I'm not. It's just, it's the next up level. Great. So if, if it's the next up level, that is awesome. Am I going to be okay? Step one, feeling grounded into that, letting go of the expectation of it. That's step two, <laughs> letting go of the expectation that it is going to have a certain number of sales or students or, you know, whatever it is, like whatever type of pressure we are putting on it. We want to really let that pressure go because anytime that we are having pressure or we are putting expectation on things, we are causing resistance. We are choking the hose. I like to think about business and flow and abundance and just living in alignment like a hose <laughs> like it's it's a, a river even you, you know whatever water analogy you want to think of but like what i think about is that if you are adding pressure to something you are squeezing the hose you are not allowing that water to flow through the hose naturally you can also have a leaky hose <laughs> and there's a lot of different ways that we can think about that hose but really step one is or sorry step two is letting go of that expectation so letting go of the expectation that it needs to be a certain way Step three, feeling into the transformation that can happen from this offer. And let me tell you, this is a daily thing. This is not something that you just do once and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at my you know, transformation statement and I got it, right, okay, cool. And then check, it's like, you're doing it all the time. You wanna be interacting with your own offer, whether it's voice lessons, or a program or warm-up tracks or whatever the thing is that you are selling all the time. So if it's voice lessons, like really be leaning into what are the exercises that I'm teaching? Why am I teaching them? What did the, the student experience from that? You know, had, what did I experience from that? Because there's like such a high from that moment. You know, I've experienced this so many times where I'm like, damn, I freaking love this work. I love it. So every time that you have that moment, why why do you love that? Like, what is that, right? Lean into that. Remember that that is why you're doing this. And really, and maybe this is step four, step five. I lost, (laughs) I lost my number of steps, but really the next step after this is reminding yourself that prices are simply a perspective. They are a perspective and they are subjective, (laughs) but ultimately it's like, you know, it's just one opinion. It's one perspective of something. And if you remind yourself of that and you go, oh yeah, okay, this is the perspective that I have. Like somebody in a totally different region could look at this price at a totally different way or somebody at a different age, someone who has a different profession. You know, I was talking about this with a client today where she was like, I just don't think that people are going to pay for it. I'm like, girl, that is the one of those limiting beliefs where you're like, oh yeah, actually wait that person who's retired (laughs) and who is 60 and wants to like live their life again. Oh my God, paying $300 for a program like that would be no big deal at all. (laughs) So it's all perspective. It is all perspective. Lean into the transformation. It is all perspective. I also love to remind myself that the clients that who want to be in my life and who want to be there, I want to work with those people. (laughs) 
I don't want to work with the people who feel like they need to be there. I want to work with people who want to be there. And sometimes that means you got to wait and trust that your offer is going to come to them at exactly the right moment. So I lean into that as an energetic standard that I want to live by, trusting that every person will find my offer at exactly the right moment in exactly the right time for them. And for me too, but really for them. That's huge for me too, reminding myself of that, that maybe it's not the right time for them. And that is perfect and that is okay. And finally, a really lovely thing that I love to visualize is that the students and the clients that I have worked with in the past have had so many aha moments and growth and experiences that I can reflect and remember. And I can use that as evidence that I'm a damn good teacher, you know, like no matter where I'm at in my journey, even if I'm in the beginning stages of something or middle or wherever, because there's all kinds of, you know, components to the way that we teach and what we teach. And just from, you know, reminding myself that like, I can do this. I have so much growth. There's so much potential here. And I know what I'm doing. It's all good prices of perspective. So here's the bottom line. I leaned really hard into this last week. I felt so much anxiety. <laughs> Anxious saying Allie came up real hard. And it was so beautiful to work through it, to remind myself in those moments when the like the thought would come back up again, like, oh, there it is again. <laughs> there it is again. Okay. I'm, I'm going to lean back into this process, like literally every single thing I just said, this is the process. I actually literally wrote it down. I'm staring at it right now <laughs> because anytime I feel this, I, I go, oh, okay, what's the process here? How can I coach myself through this? What can I do? And this is what I came up with for me. And you get to do this too. You can coach yourself through these types of processes when you are experiencing that negative narrator, that voice in your head, that comes up and gives you a lot of anxiety and says that you can't do things like raise your prices or launch a program or whatever it is. It's so big and everybody experiences it. So here is what happened within one week of fully embracing this. And I mean, I was like, whew, nobody is signing up. Okay, it's cool. It's fine. Like, I'm just going to keep practicing this. This is literally, this is it. <laughs> it's like, you know, you train for a marathon and then, <clears throat> excuse me, you do a marathon. It's like, okay, I'm doing the marathon. <laughs> this is it. I'm not training anymore. I'm actually living it. I have to practice it in real life. And then I think it took about probably seven days total of actually really doing this work. And it was like the most ridiculous thing three new members inside of the voice funnel program, one person inside of a passive income course. And then I got four new clients, three of them in one day. It was crazy, like literally in one day. And then one person trickled in after that. And then I get five voice student replies who want to sign up for my group class. Five. Then I get one person joining an offer that I haven't even launched yet. So this is like all happening next week, in one week. And I say this because it is so important to know that you are in control of that flow. Like you are the one that is steering the ship. And every moment, every thought, every trigger, every anxious feeling is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to continue practicing it, even when it gets hard, the hardest, the hardest. And trust me, I have been there. <laughs> so I've been there a million times. I know it's hard, but I promise you that if you stay with it, and what I like to think about is I am holding the confident energy. I am holding the confident energy. That is like my mantra, <laughs> holding the confident energy. I'm holding the energy. I'm holding the energy. I'm holding the energy. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I can't see it, but I believe it. I can't see it, but I believe it. It is freaking ridiculous when you can reflect back like I am right now being like, wow, that just happened. That just happened. Okay. Yep. This shit works. <laughs> anyway, I love you. And I have so many more thoughts coming soon. That's my big one for today. I know that there was a couple of questions oop, that came in. So I'm definitely going to answer those by the end of the week. I am sending you so, so, so much love. And uh, yeah, we got this.
Oh my goodness, that was so juicy, and I'm so glad you're still here listening. You are amazing, and I can't wait to see what you take away from this episode and what you bring into your teaching business. Oof, it is going to be so good. If you want to come and see for yourself what it means to grow and scale your teaching business, come and check out the resources inside of the show notes or visit us over at thevoicepreneur.com. If you enjoyed this episode, take a screenshot, share it on your Instagram stories, and tag me at The Voicepreneur. Or if that's not your vibe, that's totally fine. Share it with your two best voice teacher friends so that we can continue spreading the good word that you can create a sustainable, spacious, and fun as fudge cake teaching business that makes an enormous impact on your students' lives and your life and your bank account. It's awesome. (laughs) Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. And I can't wait to see how your business changes your life. I'll catch you in the next episode.